Switzerland is a small country recognized for its picturesque mountain villages that look like they are straight out of a Disney cartoon. Quaint villages and castles dot the whole country at the foot of mountains, by the lakes and next to rivers. Clock towers, rolling hills and calm, beautiful lakes make for the perfect postcard picture. Nestled in the middle of the Alps, everywhere you look, you'll be rewarded by lovely landscapes. From river banks and lakesides to alpine meadows, this country is the perfect holiday destination for you. Here's a look at the top 10 places to visit in Switzerland. Number 10. Appenzell This district in Switzerland is a must-see for nature lovers. There are numerous hiking trails in Appenzell that will reward you with stunning views of the mountains and the valleys below. You can ride a gondola to the top of the Scheffler mountain. There you will find a lodge with a restaurant where you can spend hours just absorbing the view of gorgeous rural landscapes. Head over outside to witness the soft, warm sun rays cast over Scheffler right at sundown. From the top, you can also see Germany and Austria. If you don't want to stay the night there, just make sure to be back in the gondola by 7 o'clock in the evening for the last ride. There is a lake in the area that you should check out before your day ends. Or grab a bite at the famous restaurant inside a cave. Appenzell district is also known for its cheese. You can take guided tours to their local cheese factories where you can see how they are made and taste some samples. Take pictures of the traditional buildings and have a taste of Appenzell beer, the district's famous craft beer. Number 9. Jungfraujoch Standing at 3,434 meters above sea level, Jungfrau railway station is the highest in the whole of Europe. Jungfrau literally means top of Europe. The railway runs steeply through the tunnel that stretches 7 kilometers up to the Jungfrau Joch. You can take the train from Lauterbrunnen all the way to the last stop. At one of the stops inside the tunnel, you'll be greeted by glaciers where mountaineers are exploring on their way to the top. At the last stop of the train, after you get off, you'll walk through tunnels to get out to an ice plateau where you can take dozens of photographs with a vast ice field as your backdrop. After that, you can now enter glacier tunnels. It's a pretty surreal experience to be enclosed in pure ice. Walk through them and view different ice sculptures inside. Jungfrau Joch is home to the old weather station called the Sphinx where you can dine in restaurants, shop for souvenirs and view the ice palace. The ice palace is a spectacular place you must not skip. The 1,000 square meter area was carved by hand and chiseled with ice axe and saw. Number 8. Grindelwald After your trip to Jungfraujoch, you can continue your adventure to Grindelwald. Still in the Jungfrau region, Grindelwald is an idyllic little city with green pastures and wildflowers in summers and a winter wonderland in winter and spring. It's right at the base of the Jungfrau Joch and the Eiger mountain and is easily accessible from other villages. Visit Grindelwald first and walk through the first cliff walk at the summit. You get a breathtaking view of rocky slopes in the valleys from here. Just avoid looking down if you're afraid of heights. But if high places do not make your knees weak, go try the 800 meter zip line that will take you on a quick ride over the valleys of Grindelwald. If you prefer to stay on the ground, you can sign up for a walk along the hiking trails of Mount Eiger. Number 7. Geneva If you are already in Switzerland, you probably don't want to miss the effortlessly captivating Geneva city, home to many historic events. Geneva is where the headquarters of the United Nations is, as well as the World Health Organization. Geneva is a busy city, but is a stop you must add to your Swiss holiday list. Take a dip or a cruise in the Geneva Lake, whose beauty is one of Switzerland's best. Not too far from here, you can check out the Geneva Water Fountain, which is easily one of the city's most famous landmarks. More historical landmarks can be found in Geneva's old town. The interconnected alleyways house a number of cafes and iconic buildings of splendid architecture, like that of Saint Pierre cathedrals. Number 6. Valley Verzasca. Close to the border between Switzerland and Italy is Valle Verzasca, 
a valley found in the Locarno district. It definitely holds up to the image of Switzerland being magical and captivating. Clear, pristine water of a deep jade color runs over the beautifully formed canyons. You can try doing backflips and creative jumps from one of the bridges before being greeted by the cold water of the stream. Cliff dives are not that scary to do in Valle Versasca because no matter how high your jump is coming from, you see the clear water where you will land. You can follow the water down through the valleys and you will find natural jacuzzi and old rock formations. If you are a James Bond fan, you can copy his jumping stunt at the 007 bungee jump. You get to be James Bond for exactly 7.5 seconds. Afterwards, you can enjoy a rejuvenating dip in the Lake Maggiore. Number 5. Engadin After enjoying the cold waters of Valle Verzasca, you can enjoy the tranquil and vast lakes of the Engadin. The Engadin is a valley region found in the eastern Swiss Alps. This region is famous for its sunny climate and beautiful landscapes, perfect for outdoor water sports. In the Samoritz area are four lakes that each has a different aura. The lake Samoritzer Zee have clear waters that give the perfect reflections of the mountains surrounding it. Lake Chanfra Sea is equally beautiful. It has a scenic landscape perfect to practice your photography skills. To the south is Lake Silva Planer Sea, a hot spot for windsurfers. If you're lucky, you can watch a windsurfing competition during a visit. The last one is Lake Silser Sea, which has emerald blue waters that can be enjoyed from a small peninsula. There are not so many visitors that frequent Lake Silser Sea, which is just perfect if you want some peace and quiet to yourself. Number 4. Simmental Home to the Sim River and dozens of waterfalls, Simmental is an underrated Swiss travel destination. You can check out the traditional wooden houses in this town and fall in love with their architecture and design. These houses are uniquely designed and are adorned with colorful Swiss art. Aside from the wooden houses, a gem of Simmental area is the fascinating waterfalls. The most beautiful of them are Ifigfall and Siebenbrunnen. Siebenbrunnen has branch-like cascades of water that make the falls beautiful form. In your relaxing stay in Simmental, you will have the distant ringing of cowbells as your constant background sound. Number 3. Zurich Zurich is Switzerland's business and finance center, but it's also filled with attractions every visitor should not miss. The best landmarks in Zurich are its historic churches and world-renowned museums. The city's architecture is one of the best assets, which is why a walking tour of the city is the best way to spend a day here. If you're a fan of astronomy, there's an observatory in the heart of Zurich where you can view different planets. If you want to immerse yourself in Swiss culture, Zurich Old Town is the best place to go. It also has the title for the most number of clubs in all of Switzerland. You can also find the Swiss National Museum in Zurich. It is dedicated to showcase the country's cultural history and is located in a fairy tale castle in the heart of the city. Number 2. Lauterbrunnen You've probably seen Lauterbrunnen a lot of times in travel magazines and postcards. That valley of rich greenery between huge mountains with waterfalls flowing over the edge of mountain cliffs. Yes, that's Lauterbrunnen. In fact, Lauterbrunnen is known to be the Swiss village of waterfalls with exactly 72 waterfalls. You can take a three-hour walk to see most of them or get a closer look from behind one of them in a tourist trail. This village has that magical feel to it. The peaceful sound of the water rushing from mountain tops, coupled with the sound of cattle roaming around, paint the perfect Swiss vacation. This village is a true nature wonder. Clouds blanket the village in misty mornings, even touching the roofs of the beautiful village houses. You can see the city from up above on a paraglide if you're seeking a more thrilling view. Number 1. Zermatt Definitely one of Switzerland's most beautiful destinations is the town of Zermatt. This town is home to the Matterhorn, one of the most photographed mountains in the world. One of the best angles to take a photo of the Matterhorn is its peak jutting out in the center while the lit houses rest in the village below. 
You can view the Matterhorn from different points and seeing them all is already an adventure on its own. There's a popular hike called the Five Lakes Trail which will offer you an endless spectacular view of the Matterhorn and Zermatt's best lakes. Zermatt is a destination you can enjoy any time of the year but it has the greatest number of tourists in the winter. One of the things you can do here in the cold days is to ski in a slope that is 300 kilometers long. In summer you can hike the surrounding mountains and take the breathtaking view from up above. You can explore the town on foot or on a scenic train ride. Only battery operated vehicles are allowed in the area in order to preserve the air quality. A Swiss vacation is definitely going to be expensive but every buck you spend here will be surely worth it. Switzerland's landscapes are arguably some of the world's best. Your every photograph here will effortlessly look like a painting. There's no dull moment in any of the Swiss towns you are going to visit because there's an activity that will fit your risk appetite. Nothing compares to the adventure, the calm and the visual treat that Switzerland offers.